My name is Melissa Merrick. I'm a dietitian here at Wellia Health. Uh, this is a presentation about fruits and vegetables. Um, in part one, I'm going to talk about why they're important uh, and also how many we need per day. In part two, I want to give you some tips and ideas and some recipes and how to fit them into your day. Fruits and vegetables are nutrient dense. Um, Nutrient dense means that they're low in calories, high in vitamins and minerals and phytonutrients. Uh, phytonutrients are naturally occurring chemicals that are found in our foods. They're found mainly in grains and beans, uh, nuts and fruits and vegetables. And the phytonutrients that are found in fruits and vegetables help prevent uh, certain chronic diseases like heart disease and cancer and diabetes, uh, fruits and vegetables also can help a person achieve and maintain a healthy weight. There are more than uh, 25,000 uh, phytonutrients found in our food. I've listed a few of them here, uh, like beta carotene, uh, lycopene, lutein, and resveratrol. Some of you may think of certain vegetables or certain colors when you hear uh, the names of these phytonutrients. Um, beta carotene, a lot of people think of carrots. Um, lycopene, uh, people might think of tomatoes or red fruits and vegetables. Or resveratrol, a lot of people think of red wine or red grapes. And that is one of the things that make fruits and vegetables healthy is their deep and robust color. One of the things I encourage you to take away from this presentation is consuming a wide variety of fruits and vegetables. So many people get into a rut with fruits and vegetables where they might just stick with bananas or apples or oranges um, or certain vegetables like corn, green beans, potatoes and peas. And it's not that any of those are unhealthy for you. Um, it just means that if you just consume those, you're just gonna get the nutrients from those and you're gonna miss out on all the other great vitamins and minerals that are found in other fruits and vegetables. So how much, uh, to begin with, how much fruit is needed? Um, uh, as we get older, we need a little bit more fruit every day. Um, so women, one and a half to two cups per day, and men is two cups per day. Um, what does a cup look like of certain fruits? Um, you can get out a measuring cup and actually measure certain, you know, certain fruits and vegetables, but this is a good guide to kind of give you an idea of <clears throat> what a cup looks like um, for, of a cantaloupe or how many plums or tangerines make up a cup, that type of thing. Um, I also wanna mention here uh, that fruits, some people might not need as many fruits as what's listed here. And uh, especially people, I think of people who have diabetes. Uh, people who have diabetes need to watch how many total carbohydrates they take in at one time. Carbohydrates are found in uh, are found in fruit. The reason why is fruit has naturally occurring sugar, and that's what carbohydrates are. There, it, it's sugar, whether it's added sugar or natural naturally occurring sugar. And so, some people with diabetes might find that uh, they can't have, you know, the two cups of fruit per day because when they do, it affects their blood sugar. So, um, you know your body best and in, in what what helps control and manage your blood sugars. Um, but normally people with diabetes can have the amount of fruit, but they just might not be able to have it at one time. Another question that kind of comes up when it comes to fruits and vegetables is, is I can only have fresh, right? Or, you know, canned vegetables are, are bad or canned fruits are bad for us. Um, and that's not necessarily true. Uh, I feel that fresh, canned or frozen are all healthy for you. And um, if you prefer canned over frozen or fresh, I'd say go for it. Um, any, any kind is important to have. You might wanna take a look at um, some of the ingredients that are found in both canned or frozen. What you're trying to avoid is any added sugar that might be um, 
put into the canned or the frozen. So what you're, what you're really looking for is the words unsweetened or in its own juice or 100% juice or light. Um, that would that would be some keywords to look for and, and really staying away from, you know, frozen fruit with added sugar or uh, canned fruit and heavy syrup. How many vegetables are needed? Um, as we get older, we need more vegetables. Uh, women need two to two and a half cups per day, where men need two to three and a half cups per day. We need more vegetables than we need fruit, which for some people it is hard to do. What does a cup of vegetable look like? Um, a cup of leafy greens is actually two cups, which is kind of kind of backwards, but um, there's not much to leafy greens other than lots of vitamins and minerals. And so uh, we actually need quite a bit more of those. Um, a large bell, bell pepper is considered a cup. 12 baby carrots is considered a cup. Um, a medium potato is considered a cup of vegetables. Some others are listed there as well. Um, and this might be hard for some people to get. A lot, a lot of people have trouble getting vegetables and uh, doesn't mean that you need to shoot, get three and a half cups. If you can just even get a half a cup or a cup, uh, that would be uh, something to strive for. Something to consider when looking for canned vegetables, um, like I said, fresh, frozen, or canned, whatever you need, whatever you financially can um, afford, go for it. I just want you to get uh, vegetables. But something to consider when you're, when you're looking at canned vegetables is the sodium content. Any product over 300 milligrams of sodium per serving may not fit into a low sodium diet. So that's something to look for. Uh, for example, in this German potato salad, in a serving, which is a half a cup, um, and there's three and a half servings in a can of this. So in a half a cup, there's 500 milligrams of sodium. So of course, if you eat even, eat even half the, the canned uh, potato salad, you'd be getting a lot of sodium. Um, another thing, if, if canned vegetables is what you like, I encourage you to experiment with the no salt added or the low salt canned vegetables, which are going to provide you with a lot less sodium. Another thing you can do um, is rinse off your vegetable, uh, that your canned vegetable, and that will take away a lot of the sodium. But frozen vegetables are fine. Those are pretty, they're very low in sodium. Um, and fresh, of course, is, is great too. Uh, they're, they're low so sodium as well. So whatever, whatever you like, just go, just go for it. Uh, what does your daily recommended amount look like? Um, here you might wanna pause the video and just take a good look at what the amount of fruit and vegetable you're ideally kind of striving for in each day. Here it just gives you an idea of different fruits and vegetables, uh, uh, maybe to give you some ideas or maybe fruits and vegetables you hadn't thought about having for a long time uh, to get you some ideas there. So that's what uh, the amount of fruit and vegetable looks looks like in a, a day. Uh, thanks for listening to part one. Uh, part two will be coming up and giving you some ideas and tips and recipes uh, to help you fit more into your day. Thanks.